Praise the Lord and uh, welcome to this session of worship with Worship Culture, dear brothers and sisters. We welcome you all, all of you from different parts of the world, wherever you might be. Um, as you remember the last session, especially when Brother Fritz was uh, rounding up the talk for us, there's a prayer that he uh, read out actually of the Kathusin monk. And that prayer so profoundly impacted me that I went on to use it and pray even over some of our band members during a worship retreat that we had about two weekends ago. And that's something I want to start this session with as well. So let's sign ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, the world of my spirit is dark and without form. My soul is a wasteland and it cries out to you. Come now and make a new heaven and new earth of me too. Let us just consciously invite the Holy Spirit into our midst. We go through so much on a daily basis. Our souls, our minds, our bodies sometimes are battered. Maybe by the work, maybe with the pressures that we experience. Maybe with the stress and strain of relationships. It could be different things. But today we invite the Holy Spirit to work with just these things, the truth of who we are, and to create us anew. Come Holy Spirit, we offer ourselves into your hands. Without you, there isn't a single moment of existence. You are the Creator Spirit, the breath of God in our lungs. We exist because of you and we acknowledge you today and we ask you to come, come afresh, come anew, fill anew and stir up again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters. As we begin this session, I would like to exhort you uh, from a psalm as always. Psalm 145 says, the Lord is good to all and he has compassion on all he has made. All your works praise you, O Lord, and your faithful people extol you. They tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might so that all the people may know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures through all generations. So the Lord is faithful, good, kind, regardless of who or how I am. And that's our hope today, our stepping stone, the fidelity of God in our lives. So let's sing of God's faithful love and give thanks to him together. to the Lord, our God and King. His love endures forever. For He is good, He is above all things. His love endures forever. Sing praise, sing praise. With a mighty hand and outstretched arm, His love
waiting sun His love endures forever By the grace of God we will carry on His love endures forever Sing praise Sing praise Sing praise for the avenue of worship. We thank you, O Lord, that we can say these words back to you, that you're a God who listens. We praise you and we give you glory. A reading from the book of Zechariah, chapter 5. Again I looked up and saw a flying scroll. And he said to me, What do you see? I answered, I see a flying scroll. Its length is 20 cubits and its width 10 cubits. Then he said to me, this is the curse that goes out over the face of the whole land. For everyone who steals shall be cut off according to the writing on one side. And everyone who swears falsely shall be cut off according to the writing on the other side. I have sent it out, says the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter the house of the thief and the house of anyone who swears falsely by my name. And it shall abide in that house and consume it, both timber and stones. 
Then the angel who talked with me came forward and said to me, Look up and see what this is that is coming out. I said, What is it? He said, This is a basket coming out. And he said, This is the iniquity in all of the land. Then a leaden cover was lifted and there was a woman sitting in the basket. And he said, this is wickedness. So he thrust her back into the basket and pressed the leaden weight down on its mouth. Then I looked up and saw two women coming forward. The wind was in their wings. They had wings like the wings of a stork. And they lifted up the basket between earth and sky. Then I said to the angel who talked with me, Where are they taking the basket? He said to me, To the land of Shinar, to build a house for it, and when this is prepared, they will set the basket down there on its base. The word of the Lord. This is our reading for today, what the Spirit will expound through Father. And as, as we reflect on the scripture, although the prelude of this reading is very scary, but the ending is very hopeful. Thanks be to God. Like St. Paul says, thanks be to the Lord Jesus Christ when he cries out, who will free us from this? Because on our own merit, we just have no hope. But with Jesus, there is. And especially the ending of the scripture is a promise of God that he will take iniquity away from us. Dear Lord, we thank you for your rescue. Like the psalmist says in Psalm 130, if you would count our transgressions, where will we stand? But in you, there is forgiveness, there's plentiful redemption. And that's who you are, Lord. And that's why we look to you, we look to your mountain, we look with hope, but we come with all that we are today and ask you to deal with us, work your salvation in us through Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Divide you. Hear. 
trust in you and we thank you for your God who saves and God who constantly rescues us we continue to press into you we continue to surrender oh God until the glory of your son is revealed in us by the work of your Holy Spirit So come and have your way and be glorified in our midst. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Peace be with you all.